Hey, how are we doing, Sore Survivors? Paul Soros Jr. here. It is June 14th, 2012, and I have a new texture pack test drive to share with you. This texture pack is called Paper Cutout because, well, it's made of paper, or at least it looks like it's made of paper. So let's hop right in. We'll give it a quick test drive. I'll take it out for a spin and kick the tires, and you guys get to decide if it's something that you're interested in. And if it is, go ahead and download it. There's a link down below in the description. It's hosted at Planet Minecraft. It's made by a person by the name of Super LG. And by the way, this was sent to me, tweeted to me by a Benstrabass. And indeed, if you have anything you want to share with me, mods, seeds, or texture packs, please use Twitter because uh, YouTube comment system is terrible and I, I, I don't get to see everything there. So, um, And if I do happen to use your, uh, your mod, your seed, or your texture pack, I'll give you a quick shout out. So thank you, Benstrabass, for this. So here's how this test drive works. I just float around in my tutorial world. This is my tutorial uh, Survive and Thrive 2 world, which is somewhat built up. I've also made some little um, model demonstrations here to show various things. And, uh, and then you guys can just watch for a few minutes. And if it looks like it's something you like, then go ahead and download it. If not, then wait for the next texture pack test drive. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's start at the front of Cozy Cottage. I'm out on the dock right here. This is all, this is my sandstone slab and stone slab. This is silverfish here, because I was trying to see whether or not these monsters looked any different. Some of them do, some of them don't. I don't know, he'll drown. So uh, we have some brick here, regular brick, brick slabs, cut out paper doors. They do look like they're made of paper. Here we have the birch wood, regular birch wood tree. I like the cobblestone quite a bit, I know cobblestone has gone over has been through many changes since the beginning of minecraft um, a lot of people have uh, been very critical of it but i think it looks great in, pa in, in, in paper cutout very nice flowers kitty cats hello who are you again dusk great inside let's take a look at some of the decor pictures everything is so clean to me isn't it nice to find I, I don't know how to explain it but I, I like this texture pack and if you know me and you've seen my videos and you know I like I like the original texture pack and that's how I play that's how I do my tutorials I don't like texture packs that make heavy modifications and alter things drastically this one doesn't appear to do that I can look at something and know pretty much right away what it is and that's how I like my texture packs so this is just standard oak wooden planks for the ceiling and the floor. Let's go check my bed. I'm so excited. Ladder. Oh, it's cute and made of paper and cozy looking. Pictures just... Yeah, they're so clear. Isn't it? All right, let's go outside. Let's go check out the mutts. In there in the back. Just up, up, and away, Paul. There we go. I like that cobble. Okay, let's take a look at the various types of wood. Yes, you did see a magma cube there in the back. Like I said, I was <laughs> testing some of the mobs to see what they look like. So here we have some sandstone slabs. We have a dog who looks pretty much the same. That's Sam. That's the pine wood. Here we have the blonde wood. And here we have the cherry wood, which is basically jungle, birch, and, um, and dark wood, the pine. And then we have the regular oak here. So it bless you. Here's how it all looks as far as the leaves and the trunks go. There's jungle with some vines on it. Tastes like paper too, by the way. Just, I don't recommend eating it. So the only leaf that's different is the uh, jungle leaf. It's got this little yellow square in there. Oh, mushroom! Hi! Let him out of the cage. So here's a mushroom. They look pretty much the same. Okay! Pretty cool stuff. Now let's move on. Over here I have a little model area set up to demonstrate what the ores look like when you find them in the walls. This is coal. This be gold. This be diamond. This be useless lazuli. I, I, lapis lazuli. Redstone and iron. And here we have um, mossy cobble stone. We have some uh, cobweb, mossy stone, brick, and this is the stone. Actually, I have another model demonstration for the stone over here, something I built recently. 
not as part of my tutorial, but I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, let's go back to the dock here. We've got some glowstone lamps. And we have a redstone lamp. Why don't we take a train ride to the farm? Mush. Here we go. There's a detector rail down there. And there's the regular rail. It's a lovely, it's a lovely sight. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's head outside and take a look at the farm animals. Hello, piggy. Pig. Ew! Ew, what happened to you? He's possessed. It's just all pupil. Gross. Scary. Let's check out the spy chickens. They look the same. Up to their nefarious de deeds. Yes. Very excited to see you too, sir. You dropped something. You look so embarrassed. Yes, I know it happens. Even to the best of us. We get all excited and fart out an egg. Here's adult wheat. It's beautiful stuff. Take a look at the nice dark soil. Stop it now, I'm leaving. <laughs> uh Starstruck, right? Here, let's put the seed baby seedling in here. Nifty. Oh, I better get out of here. The fans are going wild. Pumpkins and melons. Here we have a jack-o'-lantern all lit up. Festive. Ah. Sugar cane growing in sand. Beautiful. I love the grass. I really do. Okay, so we have the two different tones of grass here. We've got the bright green, uh, and it's changing gradually from bright to darker. I like this little perforated cutout edging for the grass. I do like this. <laughs> I thought it would be a little too cartoony for me, but I like it. I do. All right, here's um, co uh, cozy, cozy tower of power. It's not so cozy. Tower of power with an iron door. And this is nether rack and nether brick. Hello, Tang. You're still here. Very nice. Let's go up here to the bookshelf. Did I say I already saw a bookshelf? The enchanter doesn't look any different, actually. Tang agrees with me. The nether brick is a little bit brighter than the standard uh, in the original texture pack. It's so dark. It's one thing I don't like about it. And here we have the brewing stands. Whoops. Okay, the potions look very much the same. And I, again, I like that. This is kind of neat. It's different. Ingredients from the nether. All very much the same. Potions look the same. Buckets are different. But not so much that you wouldn't be able to tell that it's a bucket filled with water. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next demo area. Which would be down here with... A crazy looking sheep made of paper. I love that little design there, that like cross stitch or patchwork, whatever they call that. Yeah, I'm not much of a paper cutter outer. Here's my new uh, scarecrow. Cake looks delicious. And now let's take a look at what we might find in a stronghold. Here's all the stone brick. see here's the iron bars pretty cool stuff it's starting to get dark here's ferns which one of you is Vern Vern no and we have lily pads let's set back to time day get the full effect here sand and cactus Very nice. Okay, I set up a little side-by-side uh, -side demonstration of the sandstone. So we have, that's the regular sandstone, the hieroglyphic sandstone, and smooth sandstone. They don't have the new names yet. That's coming in the next version. Here we have gravel right in the wall. Lovely. Flowing water, which doesn't look very much different actually, does it? Not really. Flowing lava. And here's obsidian. That definitely looks different. Squiddies are the same. Let's head over here to the mushrooms, which looks pretty much the same as well. 
giant mushrooms. Well, except for the stalk looks a little bit different. Let's go inside. I do like the glass panes being completely clear. Oh, another crazy fan dropping eggs. I think this is some kind of spy chicken conspiracy. There's something in these eggs. Guaranteed. I definitely will not eat one. Slime? Hey! What are you doing here? Slimy. Yes, I tried to see if slimes were different too. And No. Wow. You swam all the way over here to the mushroom village. Here are the mini mushrooms. Red and brown. Redstone torches look lovely. We have wildflowers growing and tall grass. And a testificate hiding in the shade. Uh, like I said, I had I was testing this out just to see if they looked any different. But nope. You're the same, pal. You're not special. You are not special. If everybody was special, then nobody would be special. I do like it. Like I said, I think it looks it's close enough to the original that I could use it and not be completely frustrated when trying to identify items in the game and look like a fool if I'm recording. Uh, or any more of a fool than I already am when I record. Um, but <laughs> So here's some lovely colored wool. Hey! I've already been represented. Pretty awesome. These guys are like, no, my eyes! Yes, I, I would agree that sentiment. That won't st Maybe it'll stay just for... This is my texture pack test drive world, so I might have to leave that, sadly. Oh, here's the armor. Um, gold, diamond. Here, let's... Let's put on, let's put on a set of gold. Um, I can't even pick it up. Let's get out of here. Oh, now I'm going to get attacked by things. It's my enchanted armor, by the way. I don't have a weapon. I'm going to have to smack it down with a piece of green wool if it comes for me. I don't have any eyes with this helmet on. Interesting. I can't see! Ugh. Let's put on this gold. Let's put on this gold. We'll be the king of gold. Oops, sorry about the seeds there. Did you get that in your eye? Alright. Yeah, pretty cool. So anyway, the the you know the point is you can identify what is what, and that I do like. All right, uh, I think that about covers it, folks. I'm gonna cut out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, a thumbs up is appreciated. As usual, it helps my channel, and uh, big thank you for that. All right, hey, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.